Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another Lair by Lair. In today's tutorial, we're taking a look at how to create this crazy funky shape. So what is this shape? Well, it's actually a bracket that is designed to kind of fit around the components on the Pi Portal PCB. It's uh, kind of meant to secure this separate PCB. This is the PowerBoost 1000C. And I kind of needed to create this crazy shape to make it as thin as possible. So while creating this shape and sketching it out, um, I ran into some issues where it is a bit of a complicated shape to draw out. If you were to draw it out as this right here, you can end up with a lot of sketch dimensions and intersections. Because originally I was using the rectangle tool to draw these out. And as you do that, there are a lot of um, profiles to select when you're extruding it. So here's a cool technique of how to create something like this. I'll create a new document. And now inside here, we'll just kind of make a sketch on the floor plane. So it, we'll have to create something. So I'm just going to use the line tool. So using the line tool, um, you can kind of create this sort of maze shape. This is uh, freehand here, but the idea is that you can, you can apply all sorts of um, constraints. Let's say I want this to be a horizontal constraint. You can set dimensions and all that, but we're just creating a shape uh, to uh, to kind of uh, to make it a little bit more complicated. So if you were to draw this out using the rectangle tool, um, it would be a little bit hard, and it would, like I said, it would have a lot of intersecting points. I'm still creating this fun shape here. That's that'll be good enough. All right, so what I do is the first idea was to use the pipe tool. So the pipe tool, if you haven't used it, let's take a look at it. I'll hit pipe here in the design shortcuts. It only lets you select one path. You cannot select multiple paths, no matter how hard you try, right? And it's a pretty interesting shape. It works great for spline curves, but not so much for these uh, rough edges here, right? Let's say we're making a maze or something like that. Um, that would that would uh, not work so well there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the surface workspace and I'm going to extrude all these using a regular uh, extrude command here in the surface um, area. And what you can do is you can use your marquee selection to just select all of them, right? So it does let you select multiple profiles. And as I start extruding this, you'll see that uh, there is no depth to this. So we have to add it, right? So at least we got that. You can extrude it out, and uh, you can um, change this value later or not. We can change it now. So I'll hit OK. And now all we need to do is add some depth to this. So to do that, all we got to do is come down here to Create, and there's a Thicken command. With the Thicken command, you can select all of these surfaces. So I'll just do another marquee selection. And wow, there you go. It made a nice thickness to all of our surfaces. Very easy to do. Um, you want to make sure, take, take note of the direction. Currently, I have it set to sym sym uh, symmetric, which is fine. But if you wanted to have it one direction, um, you can have it kind of be offset from your original um, drawing here, your original sketch. You can see that. I kind of want it in the middle, so that's why I have it selected as symmetric. But um, when you do that, you do want to make sure that uh, the thickness is uh, multiplied by two. So you have one on this direction and one on that direction. It's really two millimeters. If you put two, it's really four millimeters. So I'll leave it at one. Not 21, but one. I'll hit OK. Make sure the operation is set to new body. I think that's the only, oh yeah, new body. Hit OK. And if you look down over here into your bodies, you'll see that you have those, um, those surfaces are still there. You can right click and hit delete or remove, I believe. Remove, we'll remove them. And now you're left with the solid body. Now you can come, you can, you have full control over this body. You can add chamfers and fillets um, and start adding things to this if you'd like. Um, and if you ever need to modify, make a quick adjustment, it's as easy as going back into the sketch and kind of uh, dragging it or applying a different uh, thing here. And when you hit OK, guess what? Everything just updates in awesomeness. Question if you come in here and um, let's say we apply a fillet to this, it will kind of break it a little bit. So let's say we want to do a five millimeter fillet. I'll hit OK. When you hit Stop Sketch, you will have to update your um, your stuff here. So all you got to do is double click on that extrude, and we'll hit X on the profile, and then we'll just reselect them using a marquee selection like this. And uh, it remembers the value um, that you inputted for the distance. I have it set to 20. I'll hit OK. And then the last thing you'll need to do is update the thickness. So uh, just double click on it. It seems to have remembered. But if it didn't, you could always hit the X button here and reselect everything. 
Um, it, it did save, it remembered the thickness value and the operation and even the direction. So I'll hit okay. And now everything's kind of updated. Very cool. Um, but I would definitely recommend adding the fillets before the fact, because if you start adding all sorts of things, it might break a little bit here and there. But so far it's looking pretty good. Um, so there you go. That's how you can create this very complex kind of maze shape using the surface and thickness uh, extrusion tools in the Surface Workspace. Let me guys know what you think. If you have any cool tips and things like that, please let me know. You can drop them in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until the next one, remember to make a great day.